Hello everyone, welcome back to Seek and Find Learning. So today in this video, I'll be covering the current affairs 2021 of Arunachal Pradesh, uh, mainly taken from the uh, newspaper of March 2021. PM Swanidhi Loan Scheme. So this scheme was in use recently as a loan camp for street vendors was organized under the PM Swanidhi Loan Scheme of uh, organized under DNULM. DNULM stands for Dindayal Antyodaya Yojana National Urban Livelihood Mission and PM Swanidhi stands for Pradhan Mantri Street Vendors Atma Nirvar Nidhi. And it was launched by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And the main aim of this scheme is to empower street vendors by extending loans and also for their holistic development and economic upliftment. And one thing you have to remember is that uh, it was launched in the month of June 2020. The scheme intends to facilitate collateral free working capital loans of up to 10,000 of one year tenure to approximately 50 lake street vendors to help resume their businesses in the urban as well as peri-urban areas. And in Arunachal Pradesh, this scheme was inaugurated by um, Kamlung Mosang, the Ministry of Urban Development, uh, requesting vendors to get registered and avail the benefits. And some of the questions that are likely to be asked from this topic are First question is, what is the abbreviation of PM Swanidhi? So the answer is Pradhan Mantri Street Vendors Atma Nirbar Nidhi. And the second question is, which ministry has launched PM Swanidhi? And the answer is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And who is the incumbent UD Minister of Arunachal Pradesh? The answer is Kamlung Mosang. The second topic is Rajiv Gandhi University Doimuk. Rajiv Gandhi University Doimuk has become the only central government funded university in Northeast to get grants and aid under Atal Innovation Mission of Niti Ayog. AIM stands for Atal Innovation Mission. And the questions here are When was RGU established? The answer is 4th February 1984. And question number two, when was Niti Ayok launched? 1st January 2015. And who is the head of Niti Ayok? The head of Niti Ayok is the Prime Minister itself and the incumbent Prime Minister is Narendra Modi. Um, the next topic is Bambusa Library. Here, um, there's nothing much to know, but you have to know where it is located. It is located in Teju, in the district of Lohit. So, a question can be directly asked as, where is Bambusa Library located? The answer is Teju. And what is the headquarter of Lohit? The answer again is Teju. Project Step 1 It was in news recently because East Coming District Administration, in association with Project Step 1, launched a new initiative in the district to help the people get vaccinated by providing free COVID-19 related telemedicine counseling. About the project step one, it is a non-profit NGO which has been involved in providing COVID-19 related telemedicine support to people across the country since the beginning of the pandemic. Under this initiative, people can get all their doubts and queries about COVID-19 vaccination answered by doctors and volunteers of project step one by calling the COVID helpline number at 03787-222999. And people from all districts can also avail this facility. Here the question can be asked as Project Step 1 is associated with telemedicine support during the COVID pandemic. Azadi Ka Amrut Mahutsav. This event has been organized to commemorate the 75th Independence Day. On 15th August 2021, India will be celebrating its 75th Independence Day. And to commemorate the occasion, Azadi Kamrut Mahotsav has been launched by the Government of India, which is to be celebrated across the states and union territories with a timeline of 75 weeks prior to Independence Day 
2022 and extending up to Independence Day 2023. And it was formally launched by Prime Minister on 12 March. 12 March is an important date as Dandi March was started on this day. Here, questions can be asked as Ajadi Ka Amrut Mahotsav is related to the answer is 75th Independence Day. Mingle Trophy 2021 Tournament Here, um, you have to know directly the question can be asked as the Mingle Trophy Tournament is associated with which sports? Then the answer is Cricket. Sunken Festival the Sunken Festival is a festival of the Kamti and Singpo tribes and it is a socio-religious festival observed by the Theravada Buddhist sect and the festival is celebrated at the advent of the spring season every year in the month of April which corresponds with Sankranti of Baisaki. It marks the Thai New Year. Thai New Year. And this year, the festival of Sanken started from 14th April, 5.46 a.m. till 16th April at 9.51 a.m. Questions can be asked as, Sanken is the festival of which tribes? The answer is Kamti and Singfos. And which festival marks the Thai New Year? Then the answer is Sanken Festival. Ergan Surrender Avian. The Forest Minister Mama Natung announced a program named Ergan Surrender Avian, which was in news recently. And it started from his home district, East Kameng. And the main objective of this drive is um, to stop hunting. The questions that are likely to be asked are. The Ergan Surrender Abiyan started in which district? Then the answer is East Kameng. And who is the incumbent Forest Minister of Arunachal Pradesh? The answer is Mama Natum. He is also the Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs. 2021 Year of Education According to the budget 2020-21 of Arunachal Pradesh, it has dedicated 2021 as the year of education, making education the top priority. And under it, a mission Siksha has been launched. Its main aim is to transform education in the coming next two years. Some of its objectives are Arunachal University in Pasigat, State Engineering College in Toru, 10 new Eklabia Mission residential schools, promotion of travel languages, setting up of an NCC academy in Arunachal Pradesh. Questions can be asked as, the Arunachal Pradesh State Government has dedicated 2021 as the year of as the answer is year of education. Under the budget 2021-22, Mission Shiksha is related to which department? The answer is education. Dorji Khandu Memorial Stadium. The Dorji Khandu Memorial Stadium was inaugurated by Chief Minister Pema Khandu in memory of his late father, Dorji Khandu, and it is a sports stadium dedicated to the people and it is located in Don Bosco College, Julang in Itanagar. So the questions that are likely to be asked from this topic is where is Dorji Kandu Stadium located? The answer is Don Bosco College, Itanagar and who is the ninth Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh? The answer is Pema Khandu. Remember that he is the ninth Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh. Nari Shakti Samman Award. The International Women's Day is celebrated on 8 March. The Governor of Arunachal Pradesh, Bidhi Mishra, presented the Nari Shakti Samman Award to seven women of substance on the occasion of the International Women's Day celebrated at the Raj Bhavan in Itanagar. The Nari Shakti Samman Award is R. Sering Drema from Tawang, Tongam Angu from Likabali, Itanagar Semo, Dr. Jennifer Tang, 
सोशल वर्कर पानी रन्या फ्रॉम नहर लगन हेल्थ सर्विसेज दीदी डॉक्टर रूनी तासुंग बत्तेचर जी कुंचा तेची फ्रॉम चंगलांग एंड ऑडियो मिशन चेयरपर्सन रतन अन्या सो दिस वर द वीमेन हु वर फेलिसिटेड बाय द गवर्नर्स वाइफ नीलम मिश्रा ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल वीमेन्स डे द क्वेश्चंस दैट आर लाइकली टू बी आस्क्ड आर व्हेन इज द इंटरनेशनल वीमेन्स डे सेलिब्रेटेड सेलिब्रेटेड सो द आंसर इज 8 मार्च एंड हु इज द गवर्नर ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश द आंसर इज बी डी मिश्रा एंड रिमेंबर दैट ही इज द 19th गवर्नर ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश um so here a direct question can be asked as who is the first woman to be the superintendent of police for a day so the answer is miss daget dunia and she's a second year mass communication student and a college topper at saint claret college zero and she was given the chance as the superintendent of police of lower subansiri district for a day on the occasion of women's day and it was done to give a glimpse of governance or at an early age to inspire the students to serve the country with fervor and the sp of lower subansri is hers indora the next topic is mobile digital movie theaters the chief minister pemakhandu and the information and public relations minister bamang felix flagged off five mobile digital movie theaters of the IPR department and it is the first of its kind in the world the mobile digital movie theater are ready to assemble and easy to dismantle theaters housed in mobile trucks these theaters are air conditioned fireproof and weatherproof and can accommodate 150 people in one go and it is made in india by delhi based company picture time private limited and the five mobile digital theaters flagged off are for kurung kume tawang namsai lower subansiri east siang district the questions are Who is the Minister of Information and Public Relation of Arunachal? So the answer is Bamang Felix. And also remember that he is also the Home Minister of Arunachal Pradesh. Question number 2. Mobile digital movie theaters are made by which company? So the answer is Delhi based company Picture Time Private Limited. And again a direct question from this topic. is uh, who is the first person to treat the first corona case in arunachal pradesh the answer is dr sanjingla chaipul who retired from the directorate of health services as joint director rododendron festival the rododendron festival is a two day event and a festival to create awareness on preservation of the valuable rododendron wild flower and it is celebrated in the month of march in shergao village in west coming district the festival is organized every year by the locals shardukpen community women self help groups and youths under the banner of the shergao rododendron festival committee and the theme of this year's event was tribute to our ancestors and the main aim of this festival is promoting conserving and protecting the rododendron flower The likely questions to be asked are what is the headquarters of West Coming? The answer is Bomdila and Rododendron Festival is celebrated in which district? The answer is West Coming. Poshan Pakwara. The Ministry of Women and Child Development celebrated Poshan Pakwara from 16th to 31st of March that is for 2 weeks. Poshan Pakwara which is also known as the Nutrition Fortnight was launched in the state Arunachal Pradesh also celebrated as a part of the mass movement with the rest of the country under the Poshan Abhiyan till 31st of March and it focused on addressing the nutritional challenges through food forestry and organizing Poshan Panchayats The questions that are likely to be asked are 
Portion Pakwara was launched by which ministry? The answer is Ministry of Women and Child Development. Question number two, who is the Union Minister of Women and Child Development? The answer is Smriti Irani. And who is the Minister of Women and Child Development in Arunachal Pradesh? The answer is Alo Libang. He is also the Health Minister of Arunachal Pradesh. Pustakalaya. So the government, Governor of Arunachal Pradesh, Bidhi Mishra, inaugurated Pustakalaya, which is a library come activity facility under the Pustakalaya project at the government primary school in the Raj Bhavan complex. It is an initiative to set up aesthetically designed meaningful and functional libraries at primary schools to enhance reading and comprehension among students while fostering free expression and critical thinking. And it is funded by the Corporate Social Responsibility Program by Wheeling Corporate Houses. And this initiative will promote knowledge and the scientific temper amongst the children. The likely questions are, what is Pustakalaya? The answer is, it is a library come activity facility. And who funds the Pustakalaya project? And it is funded through CSR, that is, the Corporate Social Responsibility. Grain for Grain program. The Wildlife Trust of India and the Environment and Forest Department with support from some organizations, organized a grain for grain program where victims of elephant crop raids in and around the fringe villages of Paket Tiger Reserve were given temporary relief in the form of rice. About the grain for grain program, this initiative is a rapid action project under the Wildlife Trust of India and it has been in operation for 20 years. The questions that are likely to be asked are, what is grain for grain program? The answer is relief in the form of grains. In the form of grains. Grain for grain is an initiative of which organization? The answer is Wildlife Trust of India. Roadside Pachala. The Capital Police, in collaboration with the HAA, that is the Hamara Arunachal Abhiyan, has launched the roadside patshalas that is also called as roadside classrooms. The main aim of this campaign is to create awareness among the public about traffic rules and regulations, cost of road accidents and public behavior towards traffic signs and symbols. With the launching of roadside patshalas, several traffic violators were also asked to attend the roadside classrooms and learn traffic rules. And we're also asked to take pledge to abide by the traffic rules and regulations and then allowed to go without being challenged. So this is a great initiative and now it is our duty, that is the public's duty to follow it. The questions that are likely to be asked are Roadside Pachala is associated with is associated with traffic awareness campaign. Question number two, who launched the Roadside Pachala? The answer is Capital Police in collaboration with HAA Hamara Arunachal Abhiyan. Paisa Po Kam Wangchopo Nuzim. The RWD Minister Honchun Gondam inaugurated the Paisa Po Kam Wangchopo Museum in Longdin. The museum showcasing wood craft, dress, and other traditional items of the Wangcho community would help the younger generation know about their culture and tradition. So this is the inauguration. The questions that are likely to be asked are, who is the RWD Minister of Arunachal Pradesh? The answer is Honchun Gandam. Where is Wang Chopo Museum located? The answer is Longding. Deko Apna Pradesh. The Chief Minister Pema Khandu launched Deko Apna Pradesh it is an initiative of the government of Arunachal Pradesh to restart tourism in the state by promoting travel within the state by its people and encouraging citizens to take a pledge to visit at least 10 places in Arunachal Pradesh by 2022 with the theme Come, let's celebrate tourism. Chalo Deke Apna Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh. The questions are Who is the Minister of Tourism in Arunachal Pradesh? The answer is Nakap Nalo and Deko Apna Pradesh is related to, the answer is, promoting tourism. So, the last is um, some important days of March. 
For any exams in Arunachal, you have to remember the important days, especially the recent ones. So I'll highlight some of the important days of March. First, 8 March, that is International Women's Day. This day is observed globally every year on 8 March to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. Also, it is an action for accelerating gender parity. And the second is 15 March, that is World Consumer Rights Day. It is observed on 15 March every year for raising global awareness about consumer rights and needs. This day is a chance to demand that the rights of all consumers are respected and protected and to protest against social injustice. So here, most of the students get confused with National Consumers Day. National Consumers Day. The National Consumers Day is celebrated on December 24. So the National Consumers Day is different. So don't get confused with it. Next, 21st March, we have World Forestry Day. On 21st March, World Forestry Day or International Day of Forest is celebrated every year to raise public awareness about the value, significance and contributions of the forest to balance the life cycle on the earth. And um, next is 22nd March, World Water Day. On 22nd March, World Water Day is observed annually to raise awareness about the importance of fresh water and advocating for the sustainable management of fresh water resources. Last, 24th March, World Tuberculosis Day. World TB Day is celebrated every year on 24 March to commemorate the date when Dr. Robert Koch announced his discovery of mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacillus that causes TB in 1882. This day is observed to educate people about TB and its impact around the world. This is the end of the current affairs of March 2021. In my next video, I'll cover up the current affairs of the month of April and May. So that's all for today. And for those who are asking for PDFs, I've uploaded all the PDFs in my Telegram channel. So please download it from there. And I've given the link of my Telegram channel in the description below. So thanks for watching and God bless you all.